So we just finished the Tour de Mont Blanc. It was an 11 day trail of 170 kilometers, which crossed France, Italy and Switzerland. And the trail was absolutely amazing. So I think it's time for a packlist and this time a special edition, a girl's packlist. On YouTube, I see a lot of packlists for men. To be honest, Dane already made his packlist, so check out his video above here. And I think my packlist is a little bit different, but let's see in the video. Let's start with the clothes I wore on the trail. Um, I wore my ultras, but well, I walked a lot of them, so I already threw them away. I will replace them with new ones. Um, but I made a video about my ultras, so definitely check it out so you can see which shoes I wore during the Tour de Mont Blanc. Besides my ultras, I wore uh, Injinji socks that are toe socks. I have two pairs of Injinji socks with me. One pair I wear during the trail and one pair that's a spare pair for like when I want to wash them when they're really dirty. And for shorts, I wear Adidas shorts, Adidas shorts. Um, they're already 10 years old, so no clue which kind of shorts there are. Um, I wear a singlet from Salomon. And my undies, I wear undies from Icebreaker. They're merino wool ones. I have a spare one with me in my backpack. Um, they're really good ones. They don't smell, they dry really, really quick. So really recommend these undies from Icebreaker. And I have a sports bra. No clue what brand these are, but they're really good. And for in my hair, I have a headband for my flyover hair. So when it's really windy, I don't get my hairs in my eyes. And I brought some bandanas with me. It's actually the first time that I brought a bandana and I can say that I absolutely love it. Most of the time I have it on my shoulder strap of my backpack to easily uh, get rid of some sweat in my face or to wear it in my neck so I don't get a sunburn over there. Um, absolutely love it, multifunctional. So can recommend it to literally everyone. So let's start with the backpack first. It's the backpack from Headgear, the Sarno. It's a 48 liter backpack. And to be honest, it's a really good backpack to wear during the Tour de Mont Blanc. Um, let's start with all the things I have on the outside of the backpack. One thing that's different from my backlist in comparison with Dane's backlist is the Kula cloth. Girls who don't know this yet, it's literally heaven because it's reusable toilet paper. So it's really good for the environment. It's not smelly. You can clean it really easily. Absolutely love this one. Can't recommend this enough. Mm. And what's more at the outside of my backpack is my sun hat. Um, I have a really light skin, so I need some protection <laughs> literally all day long. So absolutely love this hat. And also what I have on the outside of my backpack is my rain jacket from Frog Talks. Um, I really like that it's on the outside because I need quick access to it when rain suddenly appears. So really can recommend it to put it like on the outside of your backpack. And what else on the outside of my backpack are my trekking poles. I can really recommend trekking poles during the Tour de Mont Blanc because you will climb and decline a lot. So really bring them. Your knees will thank you for it later. It's like 10,000 altitude gain. And um, I even convinced Dane <laughs> with the trekking pole. So I had only one trekking pole during the hike, but well, one is more than none, right? And another thing I have on the outside of my backpack is my water filter. I have it right here. I already cleaned it, so that's why there's no bottle on it anymore. I have the soya squeeze. Um, if I can be really honest, I would definitely swap this one for the Catadine B3 filter because that's way easier and then you can choke water if you're really thirsty. But well, it saved me during this trail. And the last thing that's on the outside of my backpack is the bright teal back panel. Um, you can put it out there and then you have a sit pad or an S pad whenever you want to sit everywhere. Um, so that's also really handy to have on the outside of your backpack. This back panel comes with the back and it gives some extra support in your back when hiking. And what I almost forgot, I have a shoulder pouch on my backpack as well. And there are a few essentials for me in there, like my Oakley sunglasses, my phone and Rennie's. <laughs> I need those on the trail because my stomach gets upset pretty easily. So I need quick access to them. 
So this is everything that's outside of my backpack. Now let's move over to the inside of my backpack. So on top of my backpack is my food bag. Um, I have my hairbrush and the first aid kit. There are a few essentials in it like disinfection, band-aids, a safety blanket and more of the essentials for a first aid kit. I have rain pants with me. I don't wear them often, so they're inside of my backpack. And then this is my electronics bag. Um, I won't bother you with all the camera gear we have, but a few things we have in here. Are the GoPro for when it's really, really rainy. Um, my headlamp. An extra power bank and an adapter for my phone. And also pretty essential, our passports. I all put them by the way in a waterproof bag because these items are really important to me. So I want them to be dry as possible. And here's a belt pouch that I actually use as a toiletry bag. So it's multifunctional. And inside my toiletry bag is a toothbrush. Uh, Dane has a toothpaste. A small bag with extra uh, hair elastics. Some facial cream with SPF in it. And a shower gel. And something I brought also for the first time on the trail is a information booklet. Normally I don't bring them because it's extra weight, but actually I really like to read in it in the evenings or in the mornings to get some extra information about our Tour de Mont Blanc trail. And this is the last big bag. It's my clothes bag. And let me show you what's in there. Put this here. There's a towel in it, some hand gloves. I have my puff jacket in here. It's the Patagonia puff jacket, and I made a review about this jacket as well. So if you're curious if I like or don't like this jacket, definitely check out the video right in this corner. And what I also brought is my Arcteryx Atom jacket. It's a replacement for a fleece um, and it's windproof and also water resistant so I absolutely love this jacket. And I brought some waterproof socks. Most people don't know this socks there from Bridgedale uh, but since our ultras are not waterproof we need some waterproof socks and to be honest this combination is heaven to me because the ultras are not waterproof so our feet will stay dry with these socks but the shoes and these socks dry really quickly so our feet are always dry on the trail and i also brought a base layer for the chilly nights and a base legging And my extra toe socks from Injinji. I also brought warmer socks for in the evening. And last but not least, the liner. And a big tip for me, inside my liner I have already earplugs. So when I'm la laying inside this liner, I can put like my earplugs in immediately. And um, this liner is mandatory in most of the mountain huts. So you definitely need to bring this liner. And that's pretty much everything that's inside my backpack. And you can definitely see that there are a few slight differences between like my backlist and Dane's backlist, for example. So I brought the Kula glove and I'm really curious if there are any girls here or women who watch this video and are like, yeah, I bring something different in comparison with like men on the trail. And I'm really curious what you guys bring as well. And if you have any questions about my backlist or the Tour de Mont Blanc or anything else, just feel free to reach out via the comments on YouTube or our DM on Instagram. And we are really happy to answer those questions. 
And if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. That really helps our channel to grow and it helps us as creators. Definitely stay tuned for our next videos of the Tour de Mont Blanc and I hope I will see you soon in our next videos.